Well, I have some really good news today. I um, have been working on this Laser Saber Super, Super Jewel Ringer 2.0 circuit, and a whole bunch of other people have been also. And uh, it's a winner, and I think I can beat my inverter for lighting purposes um, with this circuit. And I've modified it and modified it and modified it and done different things, but the real help on this project was a user here at YouTube uh, goes by Peanut Butter 291 and he has worked extensively with the circuit and been able to come up with a way to build it with common parts out of a Radio Shack for like under 20 bucks you can build this thing uh, not including the light bulbs but this is the circuit that he came up with and uh, I'll kinda go slow here it uses a Radio Shack 12 volt transformer running backwards basically but it's not backwards it's a very strange way and he has figured out a way to tune that transformer with a 2N3055 transistor to go into resonance and light up multiple LED bulbs uh, he can run six to nine of these seven 0.5 watt LED bulbs and uh, keep it uh, about an amp and a half or less and run this uh, on 12 volts and this is the way the, the transistors wired up at least in the circuit that I replicated and he uses all of these capacitors to get the tank circuit to go into resonance and I built the circuit yesterday it ran great I used all the bulbs that I had uh, on hand I don't have the six to nine that he has but this worked quite well and the biggest thing is the transistor does not run hot and this was a real problem I was having with heat on the transistor now I fiddle around with it a lot and finally uh, eliminated I started eliminating these capacitors and figured out I could get this to go into a resonance uh, with just one capacitor and this is what I did here and this is my uh, my modification of the circuit right there and I just have one capacitor right here and I added this stuff down here on the base basically to help me tune this and to help me see what was going on with the transistor to keep it cold and I wanted that transistor to run cold I, I'm tired of having them hot and having to use heat sinks so this will run at about a quarter of an amp and light up one of these bulbs and this is broad daylight so you really can't see it very well but there's a bulb next to it that's not turned on and right here this is probably turned on about half to three quarters of the way <coughs> excuse me it's not full bright but with that kind of an amp draw uh, I have a cold transistor that's room temperature absolutely room temperature I'm running off a little tiny 12 volt 1.5 amp per hour battery uh, this is that Radio Shack transformer and it runs cold stone cold and with that cold that cold this cold uh, this makes an excellent uh, lighting device for um, the boat which is where I'm going to use this on for bang for the buck to get the amount of lumens of light that I need inside that boat for a small amount of power that I'm going to get from a solar panel. This works. This works for me. Now I did run this with multiple bulbs and it, I, I'm going to probably build this up in a box with a receptacle like this and one nice thing is you can plug an extension cord into this and because it's uh, AC current and uh, um, it only runs in the in the kilohertz. It does not run the megahertz. You don't have the spray uh, stray RF that I was having trouble with on the other circuit uh, this doesn't bother any of the electronics. Uh, this runs in the kilohertz range. And here again, peanut butter, 291, knows what he's doing and tuned this circuit and got it to go into a situation where you don't have the stray RF. And this was a big thing, was getting away from any of that uh, electronic noise junk that's going to affect your electronics. And that circuit right there, I would go to his channel and uh, see if you can replicate this circuit and then go from there but he has tuned this in such a way that he can light six to nine bulbs 
for around an amp on a 12 volt source and I just modified the circuit to uh, do what I wanted it to do here and uh, this is a winner you know as far as I'm concerned this is what you need in the way of a lighting system and uh, I'll turn it off and show you how this works first of all notice these two LEDs here this one here is really my amp meter and what this red LED does it's right here in the base circuit it lets me see how much amperage I'm pumping into the base of that transistor these two diodes here the white LED and the one in 914 switching diodes this is straight out of Dr. Stifler's SEC circuits and uh, this was actually in his circuit he uses another one in 914 it's a protection series to protect the uh, transistor I use it for an indicator but on his circuits he uses it as a protection device to protect the, the uh, transistor I don't think that's really doing a whole lot here but it does give me an indicator when the circuits running so let me plug this in here this won't come on it did come on I take it back well I was lucky I had this turned all the way down I turned it all the way down I turn this off now try it again plug this in nothing should happen and see the white LED just came on but the red ones not showing anything here hardly anything and that's not on let me see I got almost no amp draw let me crank up on the potentiometer you'll see the red LED come on there goes the red LED and there goes my bulb and the red LED I can use to gauge how much current I'm drawing see how that goes brighter or dimmer and that's like a little ammeter for me I can visually see what kind of current I'm drawing and I can correlate that with this meter here see I'm way under one amp I'm about three quarters of an amp max this goes down to about a quarter of an amp and uh, it still runs the light and this is what I wanted I, I wanted something that I could run for a long enough time on a fairly small battery and have enough uh, light um, to do something with so anyway that's my little uh, update on this uh, Super Jewel Ringer 2.0 and this is Laser Saber's idea peanut butter has taken the ball and run with it and tuned the circuit and then he's been able to come up with a way to use a very simple commonly found 12 volt transformer at a radio shack to get the job done you don't have to wind a transformer just go down buy the parts and build this thing uh, this thing here was from Lowe's um, they're on sale right now for about 10 bucks but they are expensive uh, I'd get a couple of them if I was you just because you can use two in parallel and I get a decent light out of it um, if you go to this circuit here his tune circuit uh, he shows this running with six to nine bulbs and that's a whole lot of light for about an amp and a half on a 12 volt battery so thumbs up on this one it's a winner thanks for watching